we have assessed the marginal rate of substitution for Cobb Douglas utility function but now we will do this for CES utility function which is actually the constant elasticity of substitution utility function in the upcoming videos we will learn that what it is and what it means basically it was tossed for the production functions and it is right here applied in in a variant form where we are trying to use its functional form for utility function however actually it was designed for the production function so right now we are going to use it in a very simplified version it's a stripped down form of the original CES function it is equal to the two the uh, two commodities and with the power of alpha and the sum of the two terms so this is the CES utility function in its very simplified form we have to find out the marginal rate of substitution of this CES utility function between x1 and x2 the formula should remain the same that is the ratio of the marginal utilities of the first and the second goods respectively so for the first good we calculate the marginal utility simply by using the partial derivative with respect to the first commodity which is x1 so you can see that the partial derivative is taken with respect to the first good and this is the CES utility function now we are taking the derivatives uh, of the two terms separately applying the sum rule of differentiation the second term should reduce to zero because it doesn't contain any x1 in it so this term is uh, solved because it contains x1 and here you can see that we have the application of power rule on this term which actually is uh, adjacent to the power function and we are going to apply the power rule in which the the power comes in the beginning as a coefficient we deduct one from the power and we take the derivative of the variable while keeping its power one so this will be the result after simplification of the marginal utility of x1 now we can do the same process for x2 that is the marginal utility of x2 and in this case we will differentiate it with respect to x2 and these steps can be understood simply by following the same process that we did in the last derivative for mu of x1 now the first term will be reduced to zero because there isn't any x2 in it whereas this will be differentiated as per the standard procedure and here we can see that we have taken the derivative by using the power rule this would be the marginal utility of x2 this is the simplified version of it now we are in a position to use those values of mux1 and mux2 to find out the marginal rate of substitution of ces utility function so we substituted the values of mux1 and mux2 simplifying we get this term which is uh, quite uh, clear and we can also write it like this because we have separated this minus one along with its base and when we bring it down to the denominator its sign that is the power sign minus one will become plus one so in this way MRS can be calculated for a CES a utility function and these are the two possible ways of writing the answer and definitely its interpretation will be similar to the interpretation of marginal rate of uh, substitution for Cobb Douglas utility function because the essence is the same that is the substitution between x1 and x2 uh, how it will happen as a trade-off thank you